Kookarook Swamp is the largest remaining freshwater swamp in the whole Melbourne region. BirdLife Australia, with its partners Melbourne Water and the Morning Peninsula Shire, have been documenting the amazing biodiversity of the swamp for at least three years now. With 190 surveys under our belts, we've found a staggering 136 species in the area. 14 of those species are considered threatened, and seven are listed as migrants. One species in particular, the Australasian bittern, is listed as endangered nationally and is known to be heavily reliant on the Tukaruk swamp during the winter months. Due to their cryptic nature and penchant for hanging out in tall marsh, little was known about the behaviour of the Australasian bittern. However, recent research into the migration of the species has unveiled just how far they come to visit places like Tukaruk swamp. G'day, I'm Matt Herring from the Bittens in Rice project with BirdLife Australia the Rice Growers Association, Riverina Local Land Services and a bunch of other supportive organisations. Through our research we've discovered that the rice crops of the New South Wales Riverina have become important habitat for the Australasian bittern, supporting about 40% of the global population. These agricultural wetlands are able to mimic natural wetlands and the bitterns are in their breeding. But until recently we've only been able to speculate on where the bitterns went after harvest during the colder months of the year when there's no rice. We've begun attaching satellite trackers to the bitterns in rice to see where they go and we've uncovered some amazing seasonal movements. One of our first five bitterns, known as Collie Lion, flew all the way from a Collie Ambly rice crop, 395 kilometres to Tootgaroot Swamp here. It really highlights the significance of Tootgaroot Swamp and there's little doubt that other bitterns are prepared to fly that far to get here as well. By working with rice farmers and securing the conservation of key wintering sites like this, there's a real chance that we can also secure the future of the Australasian bittern. Bitterns boom at Tookarook Swamp! Boom, boom, boom! Can we nail it? Yeah, <laughs> nailed it! While the bittern's journey is impressive, there are four species which travel up to 11,000 kilometres each year just for the privilege of dropping into Tukaruk Swamp. One of these species, the sharp-tailed sandpiper, is no bigger than a pigeon and flies all the way from Siberia each and every year to feed and rest in these marshes. But what is it about Tukaruk Swamp which is so attractive to these birds? The Mornington Peninsula is the most biodiverse region within the state. Within the Mornington Peninsula, Tukaruk Swamp is one of the most biodiverse patches and that's due to the levels of inundation, how wet it gets, how long it stays wet for, to the variation from fresh water through to brackish waters and to the range of vegetation also surrounding it. The Bunrung people were well aware of the diversity in this area as evidenced by all the cultural sites surrounding here food, hunting from sea through swamp stuff to woodland things. There's a lot of different food in this area. Since colonisation, the swamp itself shows the artefacts of years of drainage and clearing for grazing, agriculture, market gardens. Since recent times, this area that we're standing in here in Boneo Park has been put under a Trust for Nature covenant and since 2013, we've been doing targeted weed control, which is ongoing. We've removed the stock, and the response of the vegetation to that has been incredible. The amount of uh, regeneration of indigenous vegetation and the return of the biodiversity to areas of the swamp which we're lacking is overwhelming. The frogs, the dragonflies, they all attest, you can hear the frogs, they all attest to this um, healthiness of this ecosystem. Now that we know a lot more about this swamp and the amazing birds it supports, everyone's getting involved. My name's Talia. My name's Emily. And, and we're, we're from, from Eastbourne, Eastbourne Primary. Primary School. 
I think the Tuk wetland are important because it's the birds' homes. My favourite bird is the rainbow lorikeet because it is very colourful. My favourite bird is the um, welcome swallow because it's so small and cute. <laughs> we can protect wetlands and wetlands birds by not littering. Because if it goes into the rivers, birds will eat them and other animals and then they'll die. By not putting dirty stuff in the water. So we're keeping our cats inside. With a groundswell of support from the community, from plant planters to bird watchers, we stand a fantastic chance of conserving this unique spot for future generations.